Mama Panya's Pancakes, a village tale from Kenya. Written by Mary and Rich Chamberlain, illustrated by Julia Carnes. Mama Panya sang as she kicked sand with her bare feet, dowsing the breakfast fire. Adika, hurry up, she called cheerfully. Today we are going to market. Surprise! I'm one step ahead of you, Mama. Adika stood in the doorway, dressed in his finest shirt and cleanest shorts. I'm ready. Now, Mama Panya had to hurry. After storing her pots, gathering her bag, and slipping her feet into her sandals, Mama Panya called, I'm ready too, Adika. Where are you? Here I am, Mama, two steps ahead of you. He sat under the baobab tree, Mama Panya's walking stick in hand. Why, yes, you are. She accepted the stick and led them down the road. What will you get at the market, Mama? Oh, a little bit and a little bit more. Are you making pancakes today, Mama? You are a smart one. I guess I can't surprise you. Yay! How many pancakes will you make? Mama fingered two coins folded in the cloth tied at her waist. A little bit and a little bit more. Rounding the corner, they saw Mziodolo sitting by the river. Habari sa asabuhi? Mama asked softly so she wouldn't chase away the fish. Adika blurted out, we're having pancakes tonight. Please come. Adika, Mama whispered in his ear. Mziodolo waved back, saying, Asante sana. I'll be there. Mama quickened her pace. We had to invite Mzi, Adika said. He's our oldest friend. Hurry up. You're a few steps behind, Mama replied. Look, Mama, it's Sawandi and Naiman. Adika's friends tap long reeds against the thighs of their cattle, moving them along. I'll be just a few steps ahead. Wait, Adika. Mama hadn't gone too far before he returned. They'd be happy to come, Adika panted. Mama Panya frowned, thinking about the coins in her wrap. Oh, how many people will that be? Let's see. Sawandi, Naiman, you, and me, the Dika counted, and Nziodolo, that's only five. Ay! How many pancakes do you think I can make today, son? I'm one step ahead of you, Mama. You'll have a little bit and a little bit more. That's enough. At the market, there were many buyers and sellers trading fruits, spices, and vegetables. Adika spotted his school friend Gamila at her plantain stand. <gasps> Mama, pancakes are her favorite. Now, now, don't you? And before she could finish, he ran to greet her. Mama tried to catch up, arriving just in time to hear, you will come, won't you? Of course, Gamila replied. Mama shot a stare at Adika and quickly grabbed his hand, whisking him away. Mama, we'll be able to stretch the flower. Ay, ay, how much do you think I can stretch flower, son? Adika waved his hand in the air. Oh, a little bit and a little bit more. At the flower stand, Mama said, Adika, you sit here. After greeting Bibi and Buana Zawena, Mama asked, what can you give me for my money? She offered the larger of the two coins to Bibi Swaena, who scooped a cup of flour onto a piece of brown paper. Adika popped up. Mama's making pancakes today. Can you come? Oh, how wonderful. I think we can give a little more for that coin. Buana Zwena put a second cup onto the paper and tied it up with string. 
We'll see you later. Mama tucked the package into her bag. Ay, ay, ay. You and I will be lucky to share half the pancake. But Mama, we always have a little bit and a little bit more. Come, Adika, keep up with me. We may have just enough left for a small chili pepper. Leave it to me, Mama. I'll get a good one. No, Adika, she cried out, but he ran ahead to Rafifi Kaya's spice table. Mama got there just in time to hear, Mama's making pancakes tonight. Can you come? I'd love to, Kaya exclaimed. She grabbed the coin from Mama's hand and replaced it with the plumpest pepper. That's just enough. Thanks for inviting me. Mama just sighed. They headed home. How many people did we invite for pancakes tonight? Adika, skipping two steps ahead, sang his reply. All of our friends, Mama. Mama smiled small twigs and sticks into the fire pit. Adika ran to fetch a pail of water. Mama crushed the chili pepper in a pot while Adika added some water. She stirred in all the flour, seeing that there would be none to save. Mama poured a dollop into the oiled pan on the fire. Sawandi and Naiman were the first to arrive, shouting, Hodi! Adika called Caribou to welcome them. They carried two leather drinking gourds filled with milk and a small pail of butter. Mama Panya, we have extra from our cattle. Nziadolo came soon after. Old Man River gave us three fish today. Camila arrived with a plantain bunch perched on her head. These go very well with pancakes. Bibi and Buana Zuena brought a package filled with more flour and handed it to Adika. Store this away for later. When Rafiki Kaya arrived, she brought handfuls of salt and cardamom sauce, spice, along with her thumb piano. And the feast began as they sat under the baobab tree to eat Mama Panya's pancakes. Afterwards, Kaya played the thumb piano and Nzi Adolo sang slightly off key. Adika whispered with a gleam in his eyes and a smile on his face. I know you will make pancakes again soon, Mama. She smiled. Yes, Adika, you're one step ahead of me. And now you can stop the video and you can read about village life in Kenya. And what it's like to walk to a market and the animals you would see there. and also how to speak Kiswahili. There's some information about Kenya. and also a recipe for Mama Panya's pancakes.